Hello, we are Team Postec Design Intelligence Lab, and our design is called the House of Dust. Mars is covered with vast expanses of sand and dust. The surface is littered with rocks and boulders, and the dust is occasionally picked up in vast planet-wide dust storms. Our team proposed to use this Martian dust as the major building aggregate for our 3D printed habitat. There are two methods that we are going to use. First, laser centering. Selective laser centering is an additive manufacturing technique that uses a laser as a power source to center powder material, aiming the laser automatically at points in space defined by a 3D model, binding the material together to create a solid structure. Another method that we are going to use for the inner habitat is using the sulfur resource in Mars. The map above shows the abundance of sulfur. By extracting the sulfur from the ground, we can create a composite construction material called sulfur concrete. This is mainly composed of sulfur and other aggregates. If cement requires much water, sulfur concrete requires heat. If the material collected is heated above 140 degrees Celsius and goes through cooling, the concrete reaches a high strength not needing a prolonged curing like normal concrete. These two methods has been an active research area and proven by Tang from University of Singapore and Lin from Northwestern University. We propose this hybrid shell design. As you can see, it's an open dome system with two hybrid layers, each serving different purposes. Our main design point is that we can ensure clear access. This not only means ease of entering and exiting, but also we can secure environment for farming equipment, and the inner habitat. The outer shell will be built by the first method introduced, laser centering. This shell will provide a protection zone from the harsh environment. The inner shell will be built from sulfur mixed dust aggregates going through a heat extruder creating the foundation and the inner layers. This is an overview of the whole construction process. Firstly, laser centering will be constructing in areas near the inner shell, while sulfur mixed dust 3D printing will be also ongoing at the same time. To map each step of construction, ground rigging would first take in place by a rover to collect the Martian dust. Secondly, the raked Martian dust would be flattened and tightly collected. Then the laser attached rover would come in to create each layer of the outer shell. Then the layer parts would be cooled then delivered to wanted location. And finally, assembly will take in place. We also checked out the 3D printability of our design. As we can see, even with some applied force, the model shows strong stability. Thus, 3D printing for the inner layer will be processed this way. First, a collector robot will be extracting sulfur and mixed Martian dust to a wanted composite. Then the mixed materials will be compacted and pushed through unheated extruder. This overviews the end of the construction process. As the laser center parts are assembled, we have another rover that will come in and fill the empty space with water. This will freeze and provide structural stability. So this is the top view of our completed habitat. And then the habitat inside will have a structure like this. Um, more of the plan details will be explained in the next couple of slides. However, as we can see, there are two main airlocks slash sweet hatch in the north and south of the building. This is the basement plan layout. We focus the basement area for storage for food, water, and air revitalization. We designed the basement to have enough food for four astronauts for three years. Then we have the first floor. Two sweet hatch are located on the north and south of the inner building, followed by toilets and sleeping area. The ECLSS, also the shower room, are located right in the middle. This is the Mars dust storm fluid analysis. The CFD proves that at least one entrance will be assured to have a dust-free access. To wrap up, we also wanted to point out the potential of our design in creating a bigger environment. Another unique point of our design is that creating a modular urban colonies is a feasible option. As we can see, this design has greatest potential for not just four astronauts, but for more and bigger communities in Mars.